I love how quiet the farm is in the morning, how peaceful it is. I enjoy that time, that quiet time in the morning. I think it's, you know, very special to be a part of what Tim and his family has built here. I have to say that when I started at 10 or 12 years old, I didn't realize the full extent that the legacy that this farm had built. I think that the more that I worked with other farmers and was more knowledgeable actually what the dairy industry meant, that's when I realized the impact that Tim and his father Henry and now his sons and his daughter have built here. And I think it's really special to be around a place that, you know, has some history to it. The farm is starts on a farm, milked about 80, 85 cows. My grandpa moved here in 1910 and joined the uh, Halstein Association in 59 and started registered ever since then. Well, we milked two times a day. Our rolling herd average is 28,000, I think, and BAA, and we're pushing about 111. We're looking for just good sound cows that last, and that are here for generations. Each generation just gets better and better. I mean, from 30 years ago, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, it's pretty amazing where things have gone and how these cows can produce. We are on the west side of Michigan. We're about 20 minutes southwest of Grand Rapids. Only a short half hour jog from the lakeshore. I think it's just really conducive to cow comfort here. We get great weather, we have beautiful springs and typically dry and beautiful summers, which the cows love. Even into the fall, we have great weather where they can be in the pasture. And it's just really nice scenery to look at as we farm. Our cows are in freestyle, so we try to bed the freestyles every 10 days, 12 days, so they're comfortable. Summertime, they have fans, they got sprinklers on them. We try to keep them as comfortable as we can. As the more you take care of them, I think the more they produce. I think it's so unique that each cow just kind of tends to have her own personality. I mean, the more that you spend time around calves born and they grow into mature cows, it's kind of fun to watch their personalities. What stands apart with the registered cows, and I think it's just building off the generations. You can see the family lines. You can see what came behind them. And I think that it's rewarding to not only breed just one pretty looking cow, but to build a solid foundation to grow that family and to expand that into, you know, 13, 14 generations. I just think registered hosting, there's a good value. Good registered cows with good pedigrees are worth some good money. The perfect cow to me is one that will last for six, seven lactations or even a little longer. You know, a 10 year old cow that is excellent and milks and transmits. That's the perfect cow to me. I wish the consumer knew that as someone who produces milk, I am still a consumer myself. You know, I think it's easy to look at the industry now and be very pessimistic about it, but I think that farmers, especially registered dairy farmers, you know, it's a pride thing. You're proud of what you've built, and to have that legacy, a written record of it, I think is just kind of cool to see that. Yes, we may be facing new hardships that we didn't face 10 years ago, and you know, the landscape of dairy is ever-changing, but that doesn't mean that it can't grow into something and continue on into something beautiful.